Welcome back. This is Two Minute Tuesdays with Trace Dance International. Say that three times fast. And we are showing you today a really quick two minute tutorial on how to sync your JotForm account with your MailChimp account. So anyone that signs up through your form on JotForm and has an email address can automatically be synced with a MailChimp list in your MailChimp portal. So we are assuming two things. You're using JotForm and you're using MailChimp to send out your emails. So let's get started. And I'm gonna just duplicate this so I can start from scratch. I'm gonna hit more. I'm going to um, click clone form, okay? And here's my clone form. Now I'm in the actual editor, which is what happens if I were to just click on the title. And I'm going to go into, so I'm gonna go into settings, and then I'm gonna hit integrations, which is over here on the left side. And then I'm gonna just type up here MailChimp, or I could find it right here, but let's make it easier for you guys. I don't know your screens. So I'm gonna click here on MailChimp, and then I'm gonna, it's gonna say here, I need my MailChimp API key. Okay, so I'm in MailChimp. I'm gonna click on this drop down next to my name. I'm going to hit account. Then I'm gonna go over here to extras and hit API keys. Okay, and then I'm gonna scroll down where it says API keys. I'm gonna hit create a key. and it created a new key for me, so I'm gonna double click where it says API key. I'm gonna go back into my JotForm account. I'm gonna paste that in here. I'm gonna hit authenticate, boom. And now I can create, or I can select a list from any of my lists from what I've already made here. Nope. So then I've got my API key. So I'm gonna go into list up at the top here and I'm gonna make a brand new list for just these new candidates that are coming through. So I'm gonna say, uh, create a list, then I'm gonna hit create a list here. Under list name, I'm gonna put um, KCTD women's candidates. My default email address for any email that goes out is always media. And I'm gonna put Kansas City Trace DS. And you would put in your information and you will name your list what you need. Since you're keeping the form the same for all weekends, you just delete out the information. I keep it as generic as possible and not put in a number because you're gonna be constantly updating that number. And then a little reminder from what we've copied before in the past, and I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so now I have this KCTD women's candidate list. Okay, there's my list. I select it from the dropdown, yep. I have an email and I can have any other synced field that I wanted. Maybe I want to update first name to be first name, full name, with name. And I could I could go through all that. I could update everything. And then I just always send contacts to MailChimp and I can complete my integration. And it takes just a little bit, but then it's done. And so that just means anytime someone fills out that form, it's then automatically emailed with the MailChimp list. And that just opens up so many opportunities for us in MailChimp. We can email them post weekend. We can send them automatic emails through MailChimp. We could email them periodically to remind them of the weekend. We can email them before the weekend with what to pack to remind them because emails get lost. We can do all kinds of cool things now that we have all their contacts in MailChimp. And that was your two minute Tuesday maybe a little bit longer, but the benefits are awesome. Click the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen and make sure you don't miss any more Two Minute Tuesdays and stay with us as we address all of your common questions in a quick, efficient manner. See you next time.